history has been made by Bay Area scientists, a breakthrough that could lead to a new, cleaner way to produce energy. Let's bring in our business and tech reporter, Scott Budman. Uh, this is a big deal, Scott. Uh, break it down for us uh, in simple terms. What exactly is happening in our own backyard? Yeah, here? The creation of energy, and this is what scientists and climate watchers have long considered the holy grail of clean energy production, Raj. And here's a little bit of how it works. It's a milestone in the way we create energy. The Bay Area's Lawrence Livermore National Lab achieving a net energy gain, meaning they've triggered a reaction creating more energy than it took to create it. It demonstrates the power of U.S. leadership in science and technology and shows what we're capable of as a nation. 192 lasers used to create nuclear fusion, a major breakthrough that could one day let us create clean power without greenhouse gases or radioactive waste. It's the first time it has ever been done in a laboratory anywhere in the world. Simply put, this is one of the most impressive scientific feats of the 21st century. If the process can be replicated at a much larger scale, it could be a silver bullet to fight climate change. If we had fusion, we could drop fossil fuels immediately and forever, right? It would be game over. We would have all the energy we needed, more than all the energy we needed. But all involved say it's early, too early to power cities, it took 60 years to get here, and the next step is likely still decades and billions of dollars away. The science and technology challenges on the path to fusion energy are daunting, but making the seemingly impossible possible is when we're at our very best. Uh, this is high-level stuff, and what's the old thing we learned in school? You cannot create energy. They're now doing it in Livermore in a certain degree. It's amazing. Yeah, in a certain <laughs> degree, right, with 192 lasers pointing at the same time. Uh, so what happens next now? What has to happen for this to succeed? Because this is just in a lab right now. It's in a lab. It's very small. This has to go to a gigantic scale because you're thinking about it. We want to power the cars. We want to power cities. We want to power power plants. So it's going to take a lot of time, a lot of money to grow this. But now that we know it's possible on a certain scale, the next 10, 20, maybe 30 years will be spent trying to get it to a much larger Okay, scale. so it's not months away. This is years away to, to get it to scale. Very many years, yes. Oh, pretty exciting. But it's pretty optimistic, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Scott. You bet.